This Business Spotlight is sponsored by Beacon Communications, a locally owned company headquartered right here in Warwick, Rhode Island. They publish three weekly newspapers, the Warwick Beacon, the Johnston Sunrise, and the Cranston Herald. The company also publishes a weekly shopping guide, The Reminder. If you are a local business owner and would like to be featured on the next Business Spotlight, contact the sales team at www warwickonline.com. Hey guys, Erica Sicoccio here with Practical Biz Podcast, and we have a very special edition today. We have a new segment for Rhode Island Small Business Spotlight that we are doing in partnership with our friends from Beacon Communications, and I'm super excited because our very first segment is with a uh, local celebrity. We are joined with Chef Walter today, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, fine food, cooking, um, the authentic taste of nutritious food and our love for Italy as well. Um, so welcome to the show. Thank you, Erica. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Very happy to have you. Um, so tell folks a little bit about yourself. How did you come into the world of culinary arts? I'll be brief. I came here in 72 uh, um, to make my mother happy. I was uh, had recently been ejected from school. I had gotten involved with... Uh, in a political uh, uh, mainstream in Italy, um, and so uh, suspended and so on. We did have a, a blood connection to grandparents who had lived in Virginia here, who were very influential in the railroad business. And so as a, one of the grandson, I w was uh, able to have a naturalized visa. My mother thought uh, this would be a good change. Went to live in Manhattan with my aunt. One of my mother's older sister, uh, difficulties adjusting with her as well. Uh, I had a family who owned the restaurants in Rhode Island, specifically in Block Island, and I went to work for them. Stopped peeling shrimp, squid, and uh, went back to college, Rhode Island College, for a major in history. Always wanted to get out of it, the restaurant business. But I ended up doing it for real, professionally, at one point. Yeah, career. definitely for real now. <laughs> so um, you have a cooking school. I do have a cooking school, which is a recreational cooking school. And uh, we began uh, in 95 uh, with uh, presentations only. Then we expanded to uh, children, uh, boot camp, uh, doing a school vacation. That was also very popular. Um, and then the recreational aspect, which is uh, we promote the idea that good food, especially Mediterranean food, is about choosing the ingredients wisely, work them minimally, and extract flavors, which takes a little bit of science. Yeah. As simple as that. Food is not complicated. We, as chefs, we make it way too complicated for the consumers. Yeah. So you break it down for them. We make it easy. All the recipes that we use are recipes originally from restaurant business, our own restaurants, mm -hmm. reformatted for you so that you can make them in half of the time. Okay. Um, and uh, what about, um, I see that you have a sauce. Do you we do. Uh, I began, I revived the uh, concept or a uh, brand uh, that was belonged to my grandparents, uh, Michele and Algisa, and we call them a Federal Hill brand, uh, and it's called uh, the Federal Hill Sunday Gravy. And we are in uh, many, many supermarkets. I cannot tell you exactly how many, but sure. we do very well with that. Uh, low in sodium, I'm very happy because I was able to find a manufacturing company whose chef is, very, is a very good friend of mine, and he delivers, Erica, uh, an excellent product that low in sodium, and it's very important to this age, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you, so you educate consumers, you do demos. Um, 
So on your website, it says you're your own brand ambassador. So tell me a little bit about I that. Do, uh, I started the years ago. I have a, a marketing group called uh, Simval, which is the initial three letters of my grandchildren, Simona and Valentina. And what we do, we uh, present trade shows all over the world. So I am an MC. I uh, present chefs while they are presenting their own product, mostly in the Middle East. So I spend a, a lot of time in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Riyadh, and Jeddah. Wow. So I just did a show last month, four weeks ago I was there. Gulf food is the biggest food event with almost 800,000 people in five days. So we- Wow, that's I do, it's incredible. Uh, yeah, and, I pro and uh, years have uh, been on television. I was on TV since 1987. Uh, so cameras uh, were always friendly to me. I yeah. never a problem adjusting. So essentially, I created this other little side business in my retiring age. That's all. That's a, that's awesome. Well, I mean, our show is all all about the entrepreneurial journey. And even when you retire, most of us give back. We're so connected in some way um, because of we love what we do. Yeah. Keep on going if you can. Yeah. I keep on, the, yeah. Well, that's because you eat all the good food, so well, I, you I, made, you I made sure you that's watch, a, right? That's another thing that I am a very, very, uh, it's really personal with me. I'm very passionate about uh, children diabetes. I have tried uh, unsuccessfully in Rhode Island to generate excitement among the politicians, um, which are constantly boxed in their own agenda, and I try so hard to influence the luncheon program, yeah. schools. Um, children don't have a, an option like you and I do. Uh, children, uh, as, as people, uh, parents make decisions for them when it comes to food Yeah, at a certain age, right? Yeah. We do that with our own kids. And very often, not knowing enough about it, we suggest the wrong food. Uh, and then when it's too late, it's too late for them, and it, yeah. then it's a battle. Uh, and the scary one, I, yeah. I just had a, a, a staff member's child, um, nine years old, uh, was really thirsty. They thought he had a, a UTI. He ended up with diabetes. It's it's yeah. Um, it's something. It's the silent killer, just like any blood-related uh, yeah. uh, diseases. So it's something that people should think about. As a chef, when I owned my restaurants that we owned together, me and my wife, about 12 of them, it was very important to cook for the customers as if they were my patient. Yeah. And I took that personally. Uh, we always had a smaller seating so that I could concentrate on Erica's dinner, yeah. on your husband's dinner, you know what I mean? Yeah. I had to make it very personal. Yeah. Uh, Maintained the salt and take a low, the, certainly the starches and the sugar. Uh, when you came to dine uh, with Chef Walter, you were in good hands, and I'm yeah. very proud of that. Yeah, and I love that you're continuing that work through your school so you can help educate others. Um, so I think that is fantastic. So, and again, being such a great business owner, sharing your knowledge with, with the community. So thank you for that. That's very uh, yes, definitely. Um, so how do folks that are interested in taking classes at your school, how do they go about that? What is that? They, they can go online, chefwalterscookingschool.com. Uh, then uh, the site that they issue to another site where you can actually book and pay, you know, uh, an independent third-party site. Um, then we, you show up, you bring an apron, you bring your own wine, and for three hours we cook and then we eat. And as I often say, Mon Jeff. <laughs> Maybe not everybody learns everything. Yeah. But we certainly eat very well. Yeah. Uh, because uh, they work with our recipes. At first, the recipes are sent to them the day after. So when you're with me, we force you to walk away from what is the norm of reading a recipe. We teach you how to measure what our recipe. We teach you how to smell food and look at the food the structure as it changes while it's cooking. Uh, and then when you cook at home, you are re replicating the recipe, all those uh, uh, notions come back to you. 
And the recipe becomes simply a guide, yeah. which you can just simply put aside. Yeah, so I, I do see that um, in my own home. So my husband is a fantastic cook. Excellent. And he uh, he is a very much a pitch of this, a taste of that. And I, right. he, is, he is so good at that. I, I am not, unfortunately. Okay. He is good. He's good at it, but um, I definitely think uh, going to one of your classes sounds very oh, fun. Lovely to have you. Yeah, uh, it sounds yeah. like fun, and I, I think for those of you listening out there, um, especially that now people are able to get back in person, um, it's a wonderful way to get out uh, something different for a date night, or if so, you know you're you're thinking about changing your eating style, your eating habits. You want it to be a little more healthy. Yeah. Um, and you need to be able to prepare it yourself. Yes, it we, makes sense, yeah. We offer this a diabetes program. We offer a celiac program. I am a boat, uh, professionally, uh, I should I say, awarded to be a diabetes instructor and a celiac instructor by the government of Italy, where in Italy, unlike any other nations in the world, boat conditions are governed by the government and the food is less expensive because it becomes a medicine. You follow me what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Well, whereas here at the buy uh, celiac product, gluten-free, it's more expensive in Italy it's the reverse because yeah. they think of helping us or helping the people. Yeah, you are you are a fantastic, uh, uh, fantastic. No, you definitely are fantastic. So uh, tell the listeners out there, um, Maybe what uh, what other things that they should know about you? Yep. Um, or yeah. There is one thing that I like to, to stress here is that years ago we began a, a tourism business, and so we uh, take people to Italy every three months. We do tours to every region of the the country, uh, and now we doing also tours for Spain, Portugal, and uh, Middle East. Uh, but our tours are designed by me. What I mean by that, I do every pre-tour. The traveling business is such that uh, you can go on a tour and join a tour from a magazine or whatever else. The tour is designed for you. Uh, ours are sustainable chef-led tours, means that every uh, restaurant you dine, every lunches have been decided by me. I, as a chef, accompany the tour. Um, we take you to places where the, the tourists don't go. We want to show you where or what Italy is about. There is a side of Italy that is not visible on magazines and on TV. And that's where we take you. So we do the tours, and the next time I'll take you, your husband, and we'll drag that man. He yeah. Has. We'll yeah. drag everybody. So wow, that sounds fascinating. I would love, I would love to do that. I just love to do that. Knowledge tours.com and we have uh, Three tours coming up, so yeah. they're exciting because it's all uh, it's all about enogastronomy, food and wine. Yeah, and uh, nothing. We spend all day long about cooking, eating. Oh my gosh! Tasting wines. It sounds culture. delightful. It sounds delightful. It's not a bad present. <laughs> no, no, it sounds delightful. So um, you are you have been a fantastic guest. Um, Thank you. And uh, I think we'll have you back, and you should have your own show, honestly, about uh, Italy and food and all things good. Um, so thank you for tuning in to Practical Biz Podcast. Thank you so much for being our very first uh, Beacon Communication Spotlight. If you love this content, please hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Are you a business owner? Are ready to get your startup? Well, start it. Have a burning question you'd like us to answer? Want to know more about the services we offer? Or register for upcoming workshops and events? Looking to book a guest speaker? Or would like to be a guest on the Practical Biz podcast? Visit our website at stellarbusinessconcepts.com.